2024 is another one of those magical years. The leap year where we add on an extra day in February, February 29th. But you may be wondering why exactly we keep doing that every four years. Now, unlike the time change, which in my opinion is kind of silly, this actually serves a very important purpose and get ready for a lot of numbers being thrown at you. One year is equal to the time it takes for one revolution around the sun as you end up right back in the exact exact same point that you started out a year ago. You think that's 365 days, but it actually isn't. It's 365.2422 days, so a year is actually a little bit longer than 365 days. So that extra rough quarter year or quarter of a day that we have every year turns out to be approximately 5.8 hours that we miss year after year. So we have to kind of add that back. Now, if we didn't have a leap day over the course of 100 years, our calendar would be off by 24 days. So instead of March 19th being the first day of spring like it is this year, it would actually be February 23rd and those differences just keep compounding and compounding and compounding. So how do we fix that? Well, since we have an extra quarter of a day every single year, we add one day every four years. So that makes the yearly average 365.25 days. The problem solved, right? Actually, no. We are overestimating a little bit. So if we just added one day every four years, that means we would have 11.2 minutes longer than we should every single year. That means in 100 years, our calendar would be roughly around 18 hours off, which doesn't sound like too much, but it's still a little bit too much. So how do we fix that problem? Kind of play this hopscotch. Every single time we have a leap year, if it is a start of the century, we actually skip that leap year unless the year is divisible by 400. So that makes the new yearly average 365.2425 days, which is a lot closer to what we should be. We actually would only end up with a 0 .0003 day surplus. That means that we would be off 25.9 seconds too much each year. And at that rate, it would be 3,333 years to be one day off.